to introduce to you our 2014 Artist of the Year. Every year, the Lindsberg Arts Council's Board of Directors calls upon the Smoky Valley community to nominate an individual who has made a lasting and meaningful contribution to the arts in our community throughout their lifetime. Nominations are collected up until the first week of February. This year's 2014 Lindsberg Arts Council Artist of the Year is Dr. Eugene Holdsworth. and woodcarver. Dr. Eugene Holdsworth is a retired college professor, administrator, and grant writer. Holdsworth earned a Doctor of Philosophy from the University of Kansas in 1974, a Master of Science from Kansas State University in 1966, and a Bachelor of Music from Bethany College in 1958. During his professional music career at Bethany College, he was awarded the Bethany College Alumni Award of Merit in 2001, and was named Professor of Meritus of Music in 1996, and held the position of Lou Burnett Distinguished Professor of Music from 1993 to 96. He was a music teacher education in music at, uh, in technology, and was a chairperson of the Department of Music at Bethany College. In addition, Holdsworth served as Assistant Academic Dean. In addition to Bethany College, Dr. Holdsworth has served on the faculties of the University of Kansas, Kansas State University, and taught school band and choir in the public schools of Horton, Gypsum, and Miltonville. Dr. Eugene Holdsworth also serves on the board of directors for the National Association of, of Schools of Music. Holdsworth was the founding member of the Kansas Invitational Trombone Ensemble, assistant conductor, of the Bethany College Oratorio Society and was the founding instructor and participant of the Bethany College Trombone Ensemble. Upon retirement from the faculty of Bethany College, Holdsworth formed an endeavor titled Designs in Wood. Designs in Wood serves as an outlet for pursuing ongoing interests in creative design and for employing skills in decorative wood carving and in the crafting of major pro projects. I would now like to invite a uh, special guest up here to come talk about a little more personal side of, of Jean and ask Leanne Anderson. Uh, years ago, <laughs> since I had the privilege of <laughs> I had the privilege of uh, working for Jean, he was just taking over as head of the department at Bethany College, and he needed a sec he needed a secretary. Uh, we didn't have the fancy name as administrative assistant at that time, so I was the secretary and it was a great position for me when I had two little boys at home and it, and it was just exactly what I needed. These are words that I thought of when I was thinking of Gene the last few days. First one that came to mind was he is a true gentleman. He's kind, he's considerate, he's very gracious, talented. As, as evidenced by his ability as a trombonist. He's thorough, detail-oriented, probably why his carvings are so beautiful. He's a perfectionist. It was the last three qualities, thorough, detailed oriented and as a perfectionist, that I remember that made him an excellent administrator. This was in the days, folks, before we had computers in the office and so I know I had an electric typewriter, but there wasn't such thing as word processing at the beginning. I think maybe toward the end of my five and a half years, we had something that did uh, a little bit of word processing. But Gene is very, very detail-oriented, and I was glad that I tend to be a little bit that way too, or I think I would have gone crazy. But there would be reams and reams of handwritten notes and reports and letters that he wanted me to type up and Whiteout was my friend. <laughs> and just when I thought I got it just exactly right, Harry would come with an extra paragraph or two, and we didn't have cut and paste in those days. And so it was to start all over, but it was, it was okay. Uh, one of those years, or two years, while I was there, we had to go through the 
NASM certification, the National Association of, Stu of Schools of Music. And I'm sure Dr. Masterson here would understand the uh, stress involved in that. Well, Gene being the man of paper, we killed a few hundred trees out there and he had more filing cabinets brought in to his office and I thought he'll never get him in there. Oh, but he did. I'll never forget that. Here they came and they were filled by the time that NASM uh, certification was done, but it was Gene's detail, his attention to detail and insistence on being thorough that we passed with flying colors. There was no problem there. I think it was from Jean that I may have finally said, used this mantra in my own classroom. You hear that, they say devil, the devil is in the details, and I very much believe that success is in the details. And it was through him that I knew if we got into the details, the rest of it would take care of itself. And it did. Now, there was only one time in that five and a half years that I was afraid of Jean. <laughs> they were going, he and his family, three sons, were finally going to go on a ski trip before Christmas. They were so excited. Jean was very excited. And you know theater people, what we tell people when they're going to go up on stage. He's going down the hall and I went, break a leg, Jean. Well, he did. <laughs> So when he came back from that little trip, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to see uh, Gene or not, but he was all gracious as he came in with his cast and hobbled around. So Gene, I'm not gonna say that again, but we're going to say congratulations, and would you all rise, please, and give him a standing ovation, Dr. Gene Holdsworth. Gloria and I have been keeping secret since early this week, very carefully, until we sat down at the table and looked at the program. <laughs> I won't extemporize the things that Leanne has said, I appreciate greatly. But I would like to say these things. Gunsburg Arts Council, thank you for this honor. And thank you for representing and giving ongoing life to Lindsburg's sense of heritage and self-identity in the arts. You are Lindsborg and the Smoky Valley's leaders in the enthusiastic pursuit of excellence in turning our arts heritage into plans that will shape as well as adapt to future. Thank you for being advocates for the arts in a place where people are willing to think, what if? We are fortunate you have positive answers for the arts whenever that question gets asked. As a designer craftsman, I like to look for unusual uses for everyday things. For example, coffee pots for jet engines, piano keyboards for airplane flaps, and dollar horses that could fly if they just thought about it hard enough. <laughs> I enjoy working within the prescribed and concise limits of haiku poetry. Chocolate lovers is a great start. I kind of try to restrict myself to the five, five, seven, five, format. <laughs> but I especially value the infinite variations that can be created when working in the seemingly simple craft of chip carving. Lindsburg Arts Council and friends, please accept my heartfelt gratitude and my wishes for continued success. <laughs> 